in order to be uh, successful in achieving goals, achieving our goals, according to the Torah, um, we need to first determine uh, our goal or write it down. Write down the goal that we want. We, in our last video, we talked about that, that you would write it down. And secondly, you would present it to Yah. And I closed it, uh, uh, talking about the, I closed the last message, talking about that. And, um, I guess, you know, the questions would be, how do you present something to Yah? And that's not necessarily a difficult question, uh, to answer. What you do is you, once you determine a goal you then lay it out you write it down zion write it <laughs> just get a pencil and a pen or something write it down what it is that you see as a goal in your life uh that yah has put you here for you write it down and present it to him meaning that you pray over it and then you go through the scriptures using the Holy Bible to see whether or not your goal lines up with the kingdom of Yah based on scripture, based on the, on the word. And then of course, later on, we will go forward to try to determine of what that means and what that looks like. But for now, let's just see whether or not it lines up. All right. So my, uh, in this quick video on today, I want to talk about the second thing. Not only do we find a vision and we write it down, but also what is very important is that we, we check our motivation. Our motivation. Why are we writing this? Why is this our vision? What is our motivation? And uh, I'm going to give you quickly now uh, at least two or three things. First, your motivation. Is it because you feel led to do something? Or is it because Yah has called you to do it? And those are two things that are very important. Is Yah calling you to do something? Or do you feel led when it comes to achieving your goals? You write that down. Second, how does it, my goal, how will it affect the work of the kingdom of Yah? And at the same time, how will my goal affect me or my family? And I'm talking now, obviously, in a positive way. And then, of course, last, uh, what is the reason for this particular goal as far as the end game? And again, all these are motivation. Is it, you know, what is the end game? Uh, if you're an Israelite and you want to be successful, I'm going to tell you now, <laughs> the end game will have to do with something concerning Yah's glory and 
your witness in the world for his kingdom. Now, I decided after uh, after doing this study with you, I decided that I was going to actually um, share mine with you. <laughs> okay, in this study. So to give you an example of how we achieve our goals. So first and foremost, I would say, all right, when I look at my life, Dr. Yoshiahu Dawid Ben Israel, what is my personal goal in this world, in this life? And I thought about it long and hard. And you know what I came up with? Honestly, this is this is my personal goal. <sighs> to be one of Yah's best teachers and preachers in the world. <laughs> no, boy. Oh yes. To be one of Yah's best teachers and best preachers in the world. My personal goal. Somebody will say, well, what's the motivation for that? Well, I owe him. <laughs> uh, ooh. I owe him. And not only do I owe him, I owe Israel. Like uh, the Apostle Paul said, I'm a debtor. I'm a debtor. So that's my personal goal. To not just be a teacher or a preacher, but to be one of the best teachers and preachers in the world. Well, that's my goal. It's one of my personal goals. So those are goals. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean when I said uh, to write, write it down. Now, are those goals, so are those goals biblical? If I present those goals to Yah, do I have scriptures to back up the presentation? So for the first one, it's uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. Listen to this, Zion. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. And I'm going to read uh, 12 through... 17. I thank Yahushua Hamashiach, our master, who has enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, and a persecutor and injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our master was exceeding abundant toward uh, abundant with faith and love, which is in Hamashiach Yehoshua. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception, that Hamashiach Yehoshua came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Verse 16, how be it for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first Yehoshua Hamashiach might show forth all long suffering 
for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise Elohim, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. So that is my personal goal. You see how I did that, Zaya? So my goal went in the Bible. I could have found many others, but just went in the Bible, found someone else who was called like me, see what he said. And that same person said, when he got to, toward the end of his life, he said, I only do one thing now. <laughs> I just, I'm just pressing toward the mark. I want to know him. I want to be all that I can be for him as a preacher and a teacher. That's my personal goal. I wrote it down. And then I found scripture that, en that enabled me to know that it's according to Torah. 